Yeah. And we're live. Okay. Hi, I'm Mike Shields, president of Beatalon, and thank you for tuning in for the behind the scenes segment today. We have prepared something really special for you, and I hope that you're going to take, after viewing today's presentation, that you'll have a better understanding of what we do here at Beatalon behind the scenes. We've had a strict closed door policy for 45 years, and this is the first time we've ever opened up our factory to anyone outside, outside the company. So we think it's important to do it now because, uh, because Maiden USA has taken on a lot more significance, but also because we're really, we're unique. We're, we're the only company in the industry that actually makes its own wire and cable. And we feel we wanna get that, have our story told. Also, um, you know, it's our customer, we've had customers for so many years that have been loyal. And it's, I think it's really important for us to, to explain what we do and how we do it. I, um, we're really excited to do this today, and I hope you, you get a lot from it. So what we've done is we prepared a video, and because it's in the factory, there's kind of a, a murmur and a hum from the machines. So it, the audio might be kind of hard to hear at times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video, and I'm going to pause it in between, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk over it a little bit to, to help better understand it. And if anybody has any questions, maybe we can address them at the end. So let me see here if I can share my screen and get the video up. This is where it all begins. This is where we manufacture the wire, the needle on wires. We start out in a process called wire drawing. We take the wire from a larger diameter. In this case, this is 0 0.40 inches. We bring it through. A wire die. A series of wire dies. You can see where the wire enters the machine at a large size of 040. It goes through a series of dies and reductions to bring it down to the finish size in this situation, which is 010 in inches. Here, you can see those diameters much smaller. So these individual wires become the building blocks for how we build the miniature cables. And it's really important for this wire to be precision spooled. You'll see a little bit later on why, but these spools are all ready to be put onto a stranding machine and twisted into cable, which we're gonna see right now. This is our annealing furnace. This is where we can change the tensile of a wire by heating it up through a controlled atmosphere. The wire passes through the furnace at a very controlled time, temperature, and tension to achieve their desired result. Here you can see some, uh, some stainless steel wire passing through the, turn the furnace tubes as they become annealed. This is the spool of wire that we make in the wire drawing operation. We load six of these spools on the wire on the stranding machine. And the seven spools at the very end. The seventh spool is the center wire. It goes up through the middle, and the six wires wrap around it. They all converge together at the, at the stranding head. They're twisted together at a high rate of speed. And it's important, it's important to note that these wires are very, very small. We have the ability to draw wire down to 0015 diameter in inches, which is one half the size of a human hair. This is our operation where we take wires, miniature wires, and we strand them into cable. In this operation, we're making it a 1 by 19. You can see where 12 outer wires and one 1 by 7 through the middle are coming together to form 19 wires. This machine runs at a high rate of speed 
and it twists the individual wires together. Bring, the, bring this strand of wire around some pulleys, and then the final product is spooled back here. And we'll, we'll take that spool. This is how we produce a, a 49 strand wire. We have one spool of 1 by 7 on the back. So this is actually a one by seven. This is like seven strand beetle on, on the back. And then we have six spools inside the stranding machine of one by seven. And you know, seven sevens are make 49. So what we do is it's very much the same thing you saw earlier on the one by seven video portion of the video. And we're just building a cable out of multiple little cables, but it's very small diameter. Like we can make a 49 strand cable that's three times the size of a human, or I'm sorry, yeah, three times the size of a human hair. So it's very, very small diameter uh, wires. They don't have a lot of tensile strength. So as these machines are running at a high rate of speed, everything has to be properly set up and, and smooth up you know, for smooth operation because any snag along the way would result in the machine going down and us losing our product production. So even though these machines are very old, they're, they're set up to run and they're very, very smooth and pre precision run. That wire runs right up to the center. And then we have seven tools of 1 by 7 on the stranding machine that revolve around the center wire. They all come together and put it here the stranding head. They make, they all come together to produce a 1 by 7 by 7 miniature cable. And we know where it This is our 7 by 7 cable strander operation. Well, we're taking seven one by sevens. Each one of these is a one by seven of strand, and we're combining them into, into one cable. All seven are coming together here at the head. So this product that's being made here is a 1.8 millimeter large diameter cable. We're in five different industries. We're in the do-it-yourself beating business. We're in the sport fishing business. We're in the aerospace business. We're in picture framing and home goods, as well as um, orthodontic and medical devices. Our factory is actually dual ISO certified. We're ISO 9001 certified, and we're ISO 13485 medical device certified because we make a lot of medical and uh, orthodontic parts. So this product being made here is not a Beetleon product. It's it's really an aerospace product. They're being preformed to fit together. Been stranded under control, tension, and, and, uh, and speed to, to produce cable. And in this case, we're making a large diameter cable. The same process through the miniature cables that we make as well. This is our nylon coating operation where we nylon coat the bare stainless steel strand. The wire strand comes in on this side, it's bare. It goes through an extrusion head where the molten nylon comes out and coats the wire. It then goes through the water bath, cure the wire, cure the nylon. The entire time this process is running, there's a self-centering head and a laser micrometer, so it tells us and as you've seen, you know, much work goes into making the miniature cables. In fact, some of those machines can run 24 hours a day for over a week till they're finished their production. And our plant operates 24 hours a day, five days a week normally. But lately, with, with the increase in demand, we've been running Saturday, so we've been running six days a week. We have three shifts. So you can see that if, if when we take a bare strand over to nylon coating, and if we, let's say we screw up the nylon coating, at that point in time, you have scrap that could be weeks worth of work. So we have to be really careful in each operation that we do a good job because, you know, the result could be, you know, loss of productivity, but we have very, very skilled people. And, you know, fortunately we've been able, we put out a very a premium quality product and it's through years of, of really hand craftsmanship and experience. Um, what you're about to see here is we're, we're vertically integrated. We produce our own spools in-house, and we don't really rely very much on outside vendors for much of our, uh, for our spools or 
which is a big deal because we we don't rely on the lead times from a vendor. We don't rely on them trying to hit margins on their spools. So we're able to reduce or get a better, better fix on our costs. We manufacture our own spools here. We injection mold them. This is the operation. Plastics gets, gets injected into a mold. We do a multiple, we do more than one at a time. They're on a tree. And this machine actually, after they, the spools get injected, the robot arm goes down and picks up the tree, extracts it, drops it in this machine here, which is a regrinder, and it grinds it back down to the raw material so there's no waste. It goes back in the machine and gets injected mold. Yep. This is our automatic labeling machine. This machine applies a label and tamps it to the, to the spool. We have to be very efficient when we're manufacturing items in America. We do that through automation. So, excuse me. So you can see a lot of hand craftsmanship and a lot of machine work goes into making Vitalon wires. Um, like I said, we've never showed this before. And obviously there's a lot more to our company than just what we've shared today, but we didn't, you know, we can't reveal our secret sauce. And that, that's the, the operations that we do that we do best. And that's, uh, we take, we're really, I think the most efficient company in the world of taking product, taking wire and cable off a really large heavy diameter spool that we produce in the factory and then taking it and putting it on real small retail miniature put-ups. That involves a lot of, uh, lot of equipment and automation that can, that can control the speed of the large heavy spool and the momentum that, that goes with it, and then transfers it to the small spool, um, or takes up the slack, I should say. But we do that, we're very efficient at what we do. Um, like I said, we're in five different industries, so there's a lot going on every day here in our factory. And, you know, in addition to the machines and all the, and on, and our, and our factory itself, you know, one of the most important parts of our company are our, our employees. And we have um, a lot of dedicated people um, who have been with the company. We're very loyal, very loyal employees have been with us for many, many years. In fact, we have second generation families now that are, that are now employees. And we couldn't do what we do today without all of our staff and a lot of the hand craftsmanship that goes into, you know, into the work. You know, if there's so much, there's so many minor things and, and uh, special ways to make the product. And, you know, we, we we're fortunate that we have a really talented, talented staff. And through the years, you may have seen our slogans. Our slogans always have the, have the theme make in them. Like, for example, we had dream it, make it. We had for one for a time. And then we had make an impression. And I think we did make something great. And our current slogan, I think, is life is what you make it. So the, the term make has dual meaning. Um, you know, obviously we're in the do-it-yourself industry. So, you know, we're appealing to makers and the theme of making jewelry, DIY jewelry making. But the other, the other uh, reference to make is it, it, it means like, you know, we're, it's the Beatle on difference. And that being, we're the only company in this industry that actually makes its own wire and cable. There have been other, there have been other claims out there, but we're the, truly the only company that, that does this. And that's unique. And it's something that we've been very protective of and, very, and, we, and we take great pride in it. And I'm happy that we're able to share this video today. And, um, you know, and I, we, we, we're so grateful for everybody who's a Beetle on customer and consumer. It, it's only possible through, through your business and your loyalty to our brand that we're able to, to do what we do. So, with that, I wanted to thank you for joining us. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to, to try and answer them. At this time, if there's a if there's a forum or since we're live streaming. No questions, then we will just finish it up here. Thank you for tuning in.